from humans regenerating limbs to Russia's cloned designer dogs. This is Trending Tuesdays. Number seven. Only a handful of black foxes have been sighted in the UK in recent years and are unheard of in Britain. But one appeared last week at a quarry on Portland in Dorset. With its black fur and fluffy tail, it could easily be mistaken for a dog. But the rare animal gets its jet black coloring from a genetic disorder. According to Gaelic tradition, black foxes bring bad luck. And in medieval times, a sighting of the animal was said to portend trouble or ill fortune. Now that's ironic since the black fox is actually a version of the red fox, but exhibits melanism, which is essentially the opposite of albinism. It causes an overabundance of melanin, the dark-colored pigment. Did you know that black foxes are also known as silver foxes? Historically, the skins have been worn by nobility in China, Russia, and Western Europe. Number six. Geologists have discovered the fossils of ancient bacteria thought to date back some two and a half billion years, long before the Earth's atmosphere was rich in oxygen. The rocks containing the tiny fossils were found by geologists during field work in South Africa. Samples indicate the microbes existed in ocean depths nearly three billion years ago. Experts think the bacteria survived by feeding off of sulfur compounds that seep through fishes in the Earth's crust. That's not unlike colonies of bacteria living around hydrothermal vents today. Evidence provided by the discovery suggests that life on Earth may have originated around such deep-sea vents and fed off of the sulfur and hydrogen spewed from under the Earth's crust. These specimens are thought to represent the oldest fossil sulfur bacteria of its kind yet found and might help researchers develop more accurate models of the atmosphere and oceans of the early Earth. Number 5. 50 individually swaddled baby crocodiles were discovered within an Egyptian crocodile mummy that's dated around 2,000 years old. Measured at some three meters long, the relic is actually two juvenile crocodile mummies that were wrapped together to create the illusion of a giant croc. The find was made at the Dutch National Museum of Antiquities last week. A technician detected the anomaly while using a 3D X-ray scanning system that normally allows visitors to conduct virtual autopsies at the museum's Egyptian collection. The mummy had been scanned before in 1996, but the baby skeletons were only noticed this time because CT scans now provide more detailed data than before. Experts think the two juvenile crocodiles were wrapped together as an offering to Sabek, a crocodile god. Since no large animals may have been available, ancient Egyptians constructed the shape of a large croc by binding the two smaller animals together with wads of linen to stuff them, while rope and plant stems were used to tie them together. Number four. The origin of dinosaurs is usually traced back to the oldest known dinosaur fossil, that of a Nyasasaurus, dated back to around 240 million years ago. But a new study says their origin dates back at least 10 million years earlier than previously thought. If the new timeline is proven correct, it means that the creatures which evolved into dinosaurs somehow managed to survive the Permo-Triassic extinction. That was the third of five major extinction events and believed to be the largest one that ever took place around 252 million years ago. Researchers mapped the biggest dinosaur tree to date, representing nearly a thousand species. They arrived at their conclusions by studying dinosaur bones to establish reasonable estimates, their term, for the time period in which dinosaurs existed. They also used two probabilistic methods to calculate the initial emergence of the creatures we now identify as dinosaurs. Results from those studies matched, and the new tree calculates dinosaurs making their first appearance some 250 million years ago. Number three. We featured the acorn worm on a recent edition of Deep Sea Sunday. Did you know the worms can regenerate any part of the body from nothing? And that includes the head, internal organs, and nervous system. Now, scientists have found that the creature's genetic makeup is remarkably similar to humans. In fact, the worms happen to be our closest invertebrate relative. And because of that similarity, research is underway to unravel the acorn worm's DNA. Scientists believe the animal's genes could help humans reverse spontaneous spinal cord injuries, or regrow amputated limbs. Regeneration is found in many animals, like lizards or amphibians, and scientists believe humans have the potential to do the same. Number two. 
If you have a delicate stomach, you might want to skip this story. It seems that ant couples have a very unique way of communicating with one another. A new scientific study reveals that they actually vomit into one another's mouths, and that's not a bad thing, nor is it unusual. The process is called tropolaxis, and it's a way the ants pass along food to one another in a type of social network, if you will. But experts found that the process is used for more than that. It seems that information can be passed along by the animal's regurgitation. As an example, when an ant is reunited with a mate after a period of separation, the fluid passed from one animal to the other was found to contain molecules that allowed for the transmission of chemical messages. Those chemicals can affect the ant's growth, development, and behavior. It also helps them recognize nest mates and family members. Experts think the chemicals serve as a type of private communication system the ants use to collectively determine how the colony develops. On a larger scale, the discovery might indicate that other animals use the oral exchange of fluids like saliva to pass information to one another. Number one. Russia recently announced that their police and security forces will use dogs that have been genetically enhanced to sniff out drugs and explosives. The animals were cloned from three Belgian Malinois dogs, a breed that is known for having a superior sense of smell. Experts claim the cloned dogs are physically stronger than animals that are conceived naturally, and strength would be an essential quality given the design of dogs will be used in the Saka Republic, known as the coldest inhabited region on Earth. That area of Siberia also holds a treasure trove of biological material related to the extinct mammoth. The South Korean scientist who supervised the cloning of the dogs also plans to clone woolly mammoths from samples of the creatures found in the region. The service dogs are among 500 puppies cloned at the world's first animal cloning center in Seoul, South Korea, and are valued at $100,000 each. They're the first cloned service dogs used in Russia, but their first task will be learning a new language. For now, the animals only understand the orders in Korean. This is Trending Tuesdays.